Sometimes there are questions that people ask. Whether the devil can establish governments. But I want to bring to your attention this morning that the work of establishing governments is a preserve of God. There is no president in the world or in any state that has been placed there by the devil. The devil has always tried, but I can guarantee you he has never succeeded because this is permanently written in the word of God in Romans chapter 13 and verse 1. Romans chapter 13 and verse 1. Everyone must submit himself to the governing authorities for there is no authority except that which God has established. In verse 2, the authorities that exist have been established by God. Verse 2, consequently, he who rep repairs against the authority is repairing against what God has instituted. And those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. Governments are established through various ways. Some governments are established through a, a political process. Others through monarchy or kingdoms. And other governments are established by military means like Somalia and other places. Where governments are established through military method. But in all this aspect, every government may not be liked by the people, but it is established by God to serve a purpose. Romans chapter 9 verse 17. That's when you learn that God established the government of Egypt. And in his wisdom, he placed there a man called Pharaoh. Everyone did not know that it was God who established the government of Egypt in those days. But when you read Romans chapter 9 verse 17, you will understand. This is what the Bible says. For the scripture says to Pharaoh, I raised you up for this very purpose, that I might display my power in you, and that my name might be proclaimed in all the earth. It is God that established fellow, the commonly known man as Pharaoh. He was established by God. Because God had two things he wanted to achieve. Number one, that his power might be understood in fellow. And then number two, his name might be established all over the world. I wanted to bring it to your attention this morning that sometimes governments can rule and things can go wrong. The economy may go wayward, but that does not exclude the fact that that government and that authority has been established by God. What is our duty as a church? Titus chapter 3 verse 1. After we have acknowledged and established that every government has been ordained by God. What then is our duty? Titus chapter 3 and verse 1. Remind the people to subject, to be subject to rulers and authorities. To be obedient, to be ready to do whatever is good, to slander no one, to be peaceable and considerate, and to show true humility 
to what or men remind the people to be subject our duty as a church is to remind the people to be subject to rulers and to authorities we have no duty whatsoever to steal the peace we have no duty whatsoever to be unconsiderate we have a duty to show true humility toward all men number 2 our duty number 2 second first timothy chapter 2 first timothy chapter 2 verse 1 2 and 3 i hatch then first of all that requests prayers intercession and thanksgiving be made to everyone for kings and all those in authority for kings and all those in authority that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness this is good and it pleases god praise god we have a duty to remind the people to be subject to authorities the number two we have a duty to pray for how many people all people including kings and those in authority that is the duty of the church the church must acknowledge that the devil has no capacity to establish a government then after acknowledging that the church must ac acknowledge that regardless of the process there is no authority or ruler in a place except that which has been established by god and that we must acknowledge that repelling against any of those authorities we are actually repelling against the god that established them therefore our humble duty is to remind people that no matter the circumstances no matter the situation whatever we see is god that's established and therefore we must live in a peace the bible says peaceable lives we must live with peace with everyone and then become considerate to everyone and then our duty number two is that we must pray for everyone the bible says we must make prayers requests intercession and thanksgiving for everyone and also for kings and those in authority are you in agreement with the bible how many of you agree with the bible how many of you agree kwamba tunahitaji kuombea serikali yetu we pray for our government you know we are church people we are not church goers we are true church people you know kuna church goers and true church people a true church person will always find out what god is saying and do it praise god hallelujah sometimes we become afraid to do, to do the right thing amidst millions who do the wrong thing because you may suffer the consequences but some of us are ready to do whatever is right we are not a creation of the government we were established by god before this government as a matter of fact i have been preaching now when there are about three i mean uh, c3 three, three to i've preached under kibaki i've preached under Uhuru. i am now preaching under william ruto i have preached under m7 and i have preached under benjamin mukapa so i somehow understand i somehow understand that governments are established by god i preached in times when joseph Kony was a rebel in uganda and things were not working out but all the same we preached in the north under very difficult conditions as a church we must understand and this must be clear in your mind the devil has no capacity 
the, the issue of establishing governments is a preserve of God. It's a preserve of God. Let nobody cheat you that there can ever be a government established by the devil. Never. Unless if there's another scripture, I don't know. God is the same one who establishes righteous leaders and sometimes for his own reasons allows unrighteous leaders to rule. For the Bible says, when the righteous rule, people prosper. And when evil men rule, people cry. But who establishes evil men? God. Who establishes good men? God. Why? He has a purpose to achieve at every time. That's why in, in, in Romans 9, 17, when Moses was sent to Egypt, he never knew that as God was calling him, he was at the same time establishing Pharaoh. So God says, okay, Pharaoh, I establish you that my power may be known in you. Number one, and that through you, my name may be known all over the world. How can your name be known through an evil man? When I will send my Moses, you will oppose him. And through that opposition, people will know me everywhere. That's how God works. All you need to know as a child of God, you should never complain against any government. For there is no government, according to Romans 13 verse 1, that has been established by any other except your God. And as a church, we have a duty to remind the people. We have a duty to pray. Says prayers, requests, intercession, and thanksgiving must be made to all men, inclusive of kings and those in authority.